THM The Show presents me, Pablo Gunner, and my guests right here from the podcast that wouldn't die. What's up? This is Kevin. And this is Aaron. We're here to talk nerdy to me. We're going to talk nerdy to each other about nerdy things, of course. I, I watched The Book of Boba Fett. I, I enjoyed it. I, I liked it. but there was... It kind of sucked, though. <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> But there was two episodes that were legitimately the Mandalorian. Yes. But I also have a question about how, how did they take this character Boba Fett, who was so cool? When we first see him in Empire Strikes Back, you're like, damn, he is dynamite. He is and then, of so course, Return of the Jedi, he just falls into the Sarlacc pit for no reason. <laughs> you know what I mean? And now... <laughs> now, on, on the Book of Boba Fett, he basically gets his ass kicked in every fight he has. It's a, it's a sad situation. Is he cool because we didn't know that much about him? And now that they're kind of pulling back the, the curtain, then it's like, uh, well, actually, the Mandalorian is kind of cooler now. I, it's a multitude of things. I mean, for me personally, I never liked Boba Fett. I never thought he was cool. I always, oh, damn. I always thought he was a joke because he gets taken out by a blind guy into the Sarlacc pit. Now, I read the extended books and I heard he guts out and he... He becomes the leader of Mandalore in the in the books that are no longer considered canon. But in this canon, he survives, which is, it's different, but it works the way that they did it. He's an older guy, and you're passing the torch, sort of, and he's, yeah, this guy's not as cool. This guy's cooler because he's the younger, shinier version. And that's and that's what they're doing. At the same time, it's like, well, then why did they make him seem so cool in The Mandalorian, though? Like, he was really awesome and hardcore in The Mandalorian in Season 2. Why couldn't you continue that into his own show? And and I really wish they would have done more of that instead of focus on, on The Mandalorian. It was like, why did you give those two episodes up and those should have been right. part of Season 3? Instead, what you should have been doing is, okay, now that he's recovered, show how he's awesome again. Right? Like, show him training with, with all these different beasts. Then they just left it alone, and then, oh, oh my god, we forgot about this, he showed up with this beast. And it's like, oh, but he didn't really have control of it, though. It just rampaged the city and destroyed everything <laughs> that he was... It was like, up for dear lives! At the same time, it was like... And then he's still, like, the savior instead of, like, the guy that really ruined everything in the end. I did like how they kind of like humanized him and made him seem like, hey, I want to protect where I'm from or I want to protect these people. They protected me, you know, and all these things. The idea, they didn't really stick with it. This is failing, so we're going to show this or or we're going to set up the next season of Mandalorian in, instead. So Right. I mean, I guess what it comes down to is do you want your Boba Fett or Mandalorian to be like the Terminator where every time he faces a challenge, he kicks its ass, like, easily, like a Steven Seagal movie. Steven Seagal never loses a fight, ever. He's he's 60 pounds overweight. It does not matter. He's, he's breaking somebody's arm, right? He's 107. He's, he's 107. pounds overweight. His ponytail's down to just three hairs strung together. <laughs> it's a sad he's situation. He's kicking ass. He's beating the shit out of 20-year-olds. But there's no drama in that. It's really what it comes down to. When that when that happens, then you're just you kind of it gets boring after a while. So you have to kind of make them vulnerable, like you were saying, kind of reveal the humanity of the character. But conversely, if you reveal your vulnerability because you're getting your ass kicked every time you appear on the scene, it, it's a hard you know balance to strike. I, I think. I just think it's weird too. It, it's for me. I there's. I feel like there's this resurgence or this surgence of stuff going on now where it's like these old men that somehow they are able to just destroy dudes that are that are more than than half their age. Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. <laughs> I'm happy I can jump up to a wall that I could do five years ago. I haven't right. done it. Let me see if I can still do this. Yes, I work out every day, or, or not every day, but I work out. You know, I'm consistent. There's no way I. There's no way that that 50 year old me can be 25 me. Like, there's no way. Right. So it doesn't make I mean, sense. You can't me. jump out of an airplane while doing karate when you're <laughs> 72 years old. When you, you think that's fiction? What? All these movies and shows where it's like nobody and, and John Wick and, you know, all these things where I'm like, hey, I understand like you have these skills. You just can't beat somebody that's half your age with the same set of skills. It doesn't make sense to me. You have Boba Fett and then you have Mandalorian. And the thing is that in Mandalorian, he still gets beat up. Like the Din Djarin, he, he still does. 
he falls, he gets still gets beat up, he still loses fights and stuff here and there. Well, I, I want to say uh, thank you for joining me. I really appreciate for joining me on this on this little quest to talk nerdy. What what all do you do on your podcast? What do you talk about and cover and get into? We're the podcast that wouldn't die. We typically talk about horror and sci-fi films. Mostly horror. Twist. Mostly, okay. It's probably 80-20. Maybe, wouldn't you say, <laughs> horror to sci-fi? I mean, in we all honesty. We more sophisticated to say we also review science fiction. We, we do. Okay. Our <laughs> next movie that we're going to talk about is The Last Starfighter. So we're trying to, to thread it in a little more, if you haven't seen that lately. And we haven't either, so we're going to check that out for the first time in 30 Oh, years. you haven't seen that? I thought that no. would be a pure Kevin thing. It is a pure Kevin thing. No <laughs> question. We pick these movies. Oftentimes, they're movies from our youth as you might imagine and we try we tend to goof on it because we're trying to be kind of humorous but i think we're fairly respectful except for aaron maybe yeah i'm not respectful <laughs> you have to earn my respect and you're not earning it with some of these films that are coming out damn it <laughs> That's, How that's dare you. We have a good time. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, from from your title, I surmise that maybe, like, you've been doing this longer than anybody, and I go, like, that's why it's the podcast that doesn't die. But if you cover horror, that makes more sense with your title. And, too, it's, like, sci-fi, like, there are elements where there is, like, that sci-fi horror, like, Alien and stuff right. like that, the survivor sci-fi stuff. But back to our title, that was a good guess, but that's not why. <laughs> We, we used to have a YouTube series, the B-Movie Club, where we, it, we called it B-Movie, and maybe it started with B-Movies, then it was just random movies, and no one watched it. So, so we quit. We decided we have faces for podcasts, so it was recommended by a nephew, so we resurrected because we will not die. We just keep going. We just oh keep... no, we have a, we have a new YouTube uh, simulcast. So you, if you if you're dying to see what we look like, here you go. Enjoy. You're welcome. Because really, it costs us nothing to just put it out there. How dare you? This is, this <laughs> is a work of art. Kevin's the editor. <laughs> okay, awesome. Yeah, it counts to her and nothing. <laughs> So, and then if your kids, uh, they, they sign off to use your likenesses, they can continue it on. Like, trust me, like Peter Max Headroom. That, that's the plan. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> that's the plan, yes. <laughs> Good Lord. Awesome. Well, so where can we, everyone out there, find you? We're on Twitter. We're on Facebook. We've been doing these WTF videos where we take uh, the craziest scene of whatever movie we reviewed that week, and we put that on TikTok, put that on Instagram. And like I said, we're on Apple Podcasts, we're on Spotify, and we're on YouTube. We're everywhere. There's, there's no escaping us. We'll beware. Awesome. Okay, do you have any final words? Live long and prosper. Awesome. So look forward to that for them. For us, it's all TNTM, the show, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, YouTube, Gmail, Hotmail, everything. Oh, me on TikTok, Pablo Gunner, and uh, talk nerdy to me. <laughs>